Right, hi everyone, so engineering update, it's spring 2023. So you can see behind me now, we have a very shiny canopy fitted. That went on today, brilliant news. So in order for that to happen, a massive amount of work has had to happen in a very, very short amount of time. Um, so a lot of people would have seen the aircraft on the VIP tours, on the other engineering updates, the aircraft was in a million pieces. For the aircraft to go back to where it is now, there's been hundreds and hundreds of man hours spent in doing what we're doing. Um, so the target date is the 15th of April. This aeroplane will be outside. It'll be doing its first engine run of 2023. That's the plan. To get to where we are right now, we've had to get the wheels sorted, the brakes leak free. Um, we've had to get seals from all over the globe at the moment. So there's a special part number seal had to get those in to get 20 seals remade uh it was from an original equipment manufacturer 20 seals to be manufactured was 1060 pounds ridiculous we didn't pay that so we found some other seals and have done the job so the walking joints they're now leak free uh the brake units are now leak free they've been tested at 150 percent of their working pressure there's now no leaks in the brakes which is good if you want to stop so focus in the mind uh, our ejector seat man Mark um, had to come and fit the seats for us we can't do that and he's a specialist to do it uh, Mark can only do Good Friday so that really focused the mind so what do we do now we have to move the aircraft to get the ejector seats fitted what do we need to move the aircraft we need wheels fitted what do we need the wheels to sit on we need the brakes right okay so we've done that the wheels the brakes are sorted the aeroplane then came off jacks last weekend um, and the canopy, sorry, the canopy and the seats and everything was prepped last week. Um, so Good Friday, the ejector seats went back in. We had the parking brake handle sorted, we had the rudder pedal strap sorted, um, a light switch, believe it or not, a great Avro design. It's pop riveted on, but you have to remove all the fuel gauges to put the pop rivets in. Brilliant design. Um, with all that in mind, it was then a good place to get the seat rails back in which the ejector seat sit on um, and then mark turned up yesterday morning and the ejector seats were fitted it sounds like a quick relatively simple job 
it kind of is, it kind of isn't. It went to plan, the seats went back in, um, and as you can see now, the aeroplane was rolled forward again today. You're gonna see some of the footage. The canopy's gone back on, it went like clockwork, couldn't ask for a better job, fantastic. Other things that we have been doing, the fuel tanks, we've been inside all the fuel tanks, they're all being finished off now. They're now ready for leak checking. So the guys today have been doing fuel couplings. Um, they love to corrode. They love to leak. Um, with the aircraft, it's not been, uh, had fuel pumping around it. It's not been active uh, since October. So a couple of the, uh, the couplings in the wings have got dry. They've started weeping, or actually they were, they were pee, peeing fuel out. So now the couplings have been apart. They've been cleaned up uh, next Saturday is when the aircraft goes out, we're gonna pump the fuel around. It's on a refueling manifold. So hopefully it's not gonna cause too many issues. Hopefully it will be leak free. Um, so the other bits we've done is PFCU indication. So we, um, there's a little DESIN unit that sits on the actual elevon itself um, and so the PFCU. So what we have is uh, the units on a linkage arm attached to the PFCU and the elevon. And so as the elevon moves up and down, there's a position indicator in the cockpit, so you can actually see where your flying surfaces are, which is quite handy. You can see if one's failed or not, along with the indications on your left leg. So they're quite a rare thing. We couldn't find any, and then suddenly I think it was 24 came up for sale. We've bought the lot, so at a very good price as well. Uh, so they're in the process of being refitted now. John's literally behind us now fitting one. Um, air brakes. You can see the air brakes as well behind us. They are in a position that everything's back together. The chains are on, they've started being tensioned up today. Um, hopefully during the week or next week, we'll be in a position where we can put power to them. Uh, using the engine box, we can bring them in very, very slowly and check everything's all good. Parachute bay, we've double checked it again today. Um, the contactors and the relays in there, they were all fuzzed up with um, tarnished metal on there. So that all the contacts, they were, they were rubbish. Now they've all been cleaned up. We've functioned it again two or three times a day just to make sure that's all working as advertised, which is good. Uh, the ECM cans, they're all gonna be going back in next weekend also. So we're in a position now, we're pretty much, we're on track. Um, you have a look in the racks and the panels. There's still some bits to go back on, but we're pretty much in a position now. Aeroplane will go out next weekend. Fingers crossed, engines running, leak checks, um, systems checks. Hopefully everything's gonna be okay. So that's where we're gonna be up to basically. Uh, it's been a hell of a lot of work. Oh, the other thing is shock absorbers. I'm looking at the aeroplane, doing it as on the fly at the moment. So shock absorbers, They've been topped up as well. Uh, it's the most expensive fluid in the world next to diesel. Um, so OX16, I think it's now in the region of, I think it's five or 600 pounds per gallon. It's ridiculous. You can't get hold of it. It's the only compressible fluid we believe, uh, but we're looking out for some at the moment. So if you know of any, I'm interested. So looking forward now to the 15th, get it out, get it done, get it leak checked. All ready for the Twilight Taxi Run 20th of May. Hope you're looking forward to that. Get your tickets, avrovulcan.com. It's a Twilight Taxi, quite unique for us. Um, very popular, so come along, come and enjoy it. But the membership side of it as well, if you join as a member, you actually get quite a good discount also. So when you see this, uh, it's not too late. Go online, have a look at our webpage, have a look at the memberships, have a look at the merchandise. Come down, come and enjoy it, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.